You want to watch? We're getting married today. We can do that another time. Okay. Woohoo! Mad movies! Come on, checkers! Oh, neener, neener, oh, neener, wow, neener, neener. that was a close one. Oh, several Sherlock Holmes books. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Hound of the Baskervilles, uh, The Last Adventure of Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes meets Larry Holmes, and uh, uh, our movie tonight, Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon. But as always, uh, we've changed the original plot to our own, so uh, we won't need these. Uh, uh, ours is about the library place. You see, people are keeping books past their due date and the library police are called in to restore justice. So in our mad movie, the library can be a pretty scary place. Shh. Here's the movie. So, Daphne, you say books aren't being returned to the library and you want me to find them? Yes, Sherlock. Because I'm a better detective than Magnum P.I.? And cheaper than wine? Want a light? I don't smoke. Hmm. Hello? Yes? Try cucumber. What? No, the doctor says it's perfectly all right. That was the phone, wasn't it? Yes, that was my assistant librarian. The joy of sex is overdue. I know that the last person to check it out was my boyfriend, Dr. Franz Tubel. Did he learn anything from it? Not that I could tell. I know you want to get started, so I'll pay you in advance. Here's three dollars. Mm. Grandpa Holmes, how long have you been standing out here? Oh, about an hour and a half. I knew I should have knocked. I brought some more books for you here. One of them's called 101 Decorating Ideas with Toenail Clippings. We've had a lot of requests for that. Oh, I think the library police may have followed me. Oh, I need a better look. He's gonna get naked. I don't want you getting undressed in front of the window anymore. I've got 19 complaint letters so here. So what? You're the only one who knows I'm not wearing any clothes under this coat. Well, your grandson Sherlock would know. Isn't he the best detective in the world? No, he just works cheap. Listen to a bell. I uh, made some alterations in the Joy of Sex huh? book. I hope you don't mind. Uh, alterations? Like what? Oh. Cut out all the pictures. It makes a handy-dandy lunchbox. I put my sandwich and a box of raisins in here. It goes anywhere. Hey, the library cops are leaving. Our car's getting towed away. Come back. They should have known not to double park. Now's our chance to get away. Not yet. I want to watch those ninnies chase the tow truck. We've got to meet the black market book buyers. Oh, uh, when you're my age, this is more fun. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. The time's run out in our parking meter. Come on, race you to the car. Oh, but, uh... Uh, don't you think I should drive Grandpa home? No! Hey, we'll put the steering wheel over here. I... Put it in R for really fast. Put it in drive. Uh, uh, well, it's it in drive. drive. Put it in drive. Uh, don't tell me how to it's drive, you little snot. Oh, oh. Are you sure you don't want me to drive? No, I'm fine.
you're saying, buddy. Could you spare a quarter? I need to buy another leg. What happened to yours? I traded it for this lovely pirate outfit. But yours is even nicer. What of it? I'd like to trade for it. I'll give you me other leg for it. I'll even throw in an eyeball. Or what's under me hat? Is it a deal? You're nuts. Well, I draw the line somewhere. Listen, you. <laughs> yeah. I'd be looking for books. Ah, uh, don't get your dander up. I know where there are more books than you can check out with a library card. Walk this way. Uh, you're late. Neither of you two own a white two-door sedan with a scratch in the side, a bumper hanging loose, and a broken taillight? No, why? No, no reason. Well, I can see ugly face on the bar. You want me to change seats? Yeah. You're not so pretty yourself. Uh, how much would you pay for this fine collection of stolen library books? But don't answer yet, because you'll also get this free cookbook, Fear of Frying. But wait, you'll also get a free set of steak knives. Now how much would you pay? $29.95. Hey, old man, I just saw my car in the parking lot. Did you win your driver's license in a raffle? You're gonna pay for that bump, and I'm gonna call your parents. Uh, now get your stuff and your get out of here. We've got to get this pile of stolen books ready for the pirates to ship. So, uh... Whoa, whoa! Hey, uh, been walking long? <laughs> I tripped over Moby Dick. <laughs> Damn that whale. Oh, I see you're stocking up on fertilizer for the spring. These are all overdue books. I have every book ever written from every library ever built. Oh. I owe over $50,000 in fines. Hmm. And I'm proud of it. Oh, but won't my girlfriend Daphne lose her librarian job? So what? I've been shushed by so many librarians like her, I almost caught pneumonia from the draft. I was in France. Excuse the appearance of the house. I still have to dust. There. We were wondering what the punishment should be for people who keep library books past the due date. I'll cut out their eyes so they couldn't read anymore. Public blogging. I guess you can make them wear gum on their nose or something crazy. <laughs> I think you ought to abolish reading altogether. I think I hit them with a book that they checked out. <laughs> Set up a bomb and have it go off the day it's due or something. <laughs> in the book? Yeah. I think death by hanging, preferably, in front of the library could be good. Oh, I think that's great because that means they're really reading them. Cut off their hands? Set them on fire. <laughs> I have one that's overdue today. Oh, here's a sympathy card, Daphne. I'm sorry you lost your job at the library. You hand-delivered it, too. In an envelope. Let me deliver this. <laughs> Kiss for a card. I wonder what I would have gotten if I'd given her a toaster oven. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm -hmm. officer. Oh, that shark fights. Whoa, that, see that shark fight. There's a oh. noise to stop! Oh. Get it right! Oh. Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Help me! Oh. 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 Heck with you, he's stealing my car! Come back here! What? Watson! Watson, wake up! The back room is missing! Uh, you mean the one back there? Yes, where is it? Uh, it was there a minute ago. I just stepped out here to sit with the cat. Why are you still in pajamas? Uh. Hello! Mm, uh, I'm Sherlock Holmes. Hip, hip, array. I think so. Uh, uh, my goodness! Uh, let me look at your head. What happened to it? Mm, I had my appendix removed. Mm, I hope you know a good lawyer. I recognize you from somewhere. I know who he is. Huh? I know it all. I can tell from the flapjack batter on your lapel. Uh, He's Long John Silverman, international spy and pancake salesman. Uh, He's wanted in 32 countries and 18 delicatessens. Well, that's not true at all. All right, then. I can tell by the soap on your sleeve that you've just returned from robbing an Amway meeting. Mm, I must say. Trust me on this, Watson. I know what I'm doing. I think he's France Tobel, suspected of stealing library books. Don't be absurd, Watson. I'm the expert here. I've had years of experience, and I never miss a thing. He's a mass murderer. But Holmes, I really... Now... Oh, chill out, Watson. 
I can tell just by looking at his eyes. And his handkerchief has blood all over it. Tell me now that he's not a mass murderer, eh? That's lipstick. Hmm? It's nothing. Well, Watson's right. I am Franz Torbell. Damn. I helped steal the books. I'm turning myself in. Very good. We all knew it was you. Mm, uh, not everyone. Holmes here thought he was a pancake salesman. Oh, Holmes! Hmm. So, you're turning state's evidence because you're a changed man. No, because since my girlfriend lost her job, she won't sleep with me anymore. Hmm. What's she look like? Uh, she's big in the hips, but if she can have her job back, I'll help you round up the rest of the gang. Hmm. What do you think, Holmes? Should we let him help us? You're the expert, Holmes. Don't ask me. I thought he was a pancake salesman. That's Smarty Pants Watson. Childish, Holmes. Very. Oh, shut up. You know, books aren't the only things you can check out at a library. You can even check out some of your favorite home movies. Can I see this? They knew this baby was super by the horse he rode. Across the cosmos, signals were sent to worlds in need of help. He got a super haircut and was taught the basics of super flying. Then, our hero bid farewell to his home planet and boarded the capsule which took him to Earth, where he became... Super Baby! With incredible powers as well as an indestructible designer uniform. Then, his super strength was magnified tenfold by a freak meteor shower. Setting out on his first patrol, Super Baby was faced with the evil Dr. Fido, a villain who drooled on innocent old men. Without hesitation, Super Baby sped to the rescue, and justice was done. But Fido lived to harass a young woman, Pole Vaulter. And then, arming himself with a five-ton boulder, Super Baby sent Fido packing with a massive show of strength. And the world was safe for now. People could sleep in peace because, in the face of danger, here was one baby who would always stand tall. Here, Mr. Tobel, do a duck call for me, will you? Certainly. You can take a drink of water. Measly amused. I'll talk at the same time. Yep, I didn't think you could do it. Yep, I'm in my jammies. And my pipe and my six-shooter. Uh-huh. All set for the evening, huh? Right, Al. I'm gonna sit with the cat and watch the Brady Bunch. <laughs> uh, you are easily amused. Let the cat out of the bag. It's a story. Good. Now's my chance to call my cousin in Taiwan and charge it to Watson's phone. <laughs> Uh, Chao Peng? This is Cousin Franz from London. Did you get the fruitcake I sent for Passover? Huh? What? Yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot it's three in the morning there. It's afternoon here. Hold on. Hmm. I've got a sudden urge for an egg roll. Down, cat fleas. Do ye be a black marketeer? Arr, my name be Annette. <laughs> I said marketeer. Arr. What are ye laughing at? Me? Yeah, you. Arr. Arr. Give me a dollar. Arr. 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 dance for him. He's a pirate dancer. He dances for money. Any old dollar will do. He's a pirate dancer. His dancing is funny because he's only wearing one shoe. Arr, arr, arr. Teach me how to sing. Arr. Your breath smells like a barrel of fish. Arr, arr. Why, you lousy arr, little... Arr. Arr. Stick of gum. Boys, arr. everybody loves somebody sometime. Do you think I look like Dean Martin? A little bit, but Dino was a tuxedo. You should lose that outfit. I'm sure Pegleg would be glad to give you an arm and, well, another arm for it. But it's a good book smuggling outfit. Get ready to sail, Annette. Uh, You've got a job. Yeah, well, shiver me timber. I'll go get me parrot and me eye patch. <laughs> you know, Holmes. Mm -hmm. I thought your mother told you not to play with her makeup. It's not your color. 
Mom won't be back till 11. She went to a Star Trek convention. Besides, don't you have anything better to do than stand around picking on me? Mm, thought we were going to work on the bookcase. I hired a carpenter for that. We must concentrate on the library mystery as soon as I finish with my eye shadow. Mm. Oh, I've got to see Holmes and tell him that there's a pirate ship full of books leaving tonight. Uh, Sandra D, Aunt B, Mr. T. Oh, I've got to get something for the burn on my hand. Oh, maybe butter? Huh? Okay. Aha! Unbelievable! Well, what did you find out? Well, I, um, oh, uh, what was I supposed to do again? Twit. I'm hungry. We just ate six minutes ago. Hey, you! Quit messing around with the trunk of my car! Arr, let's get out of here. We get caught. The boss will bust our butts. Arr, 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 get back here! <laughs> oh, can't catch him. They got a one-foot lead and he's limping too fast. Let's see if they got away with anything. Here, my box of tools, my square tire, my Nehru jacket. Here's my book pirate. Hey, wait a minute. Arr. Oh, what's your story, huh? My friends turned on me because of my parent. It kept biting them on the back of the neck. It bit me, too. Do I know you? You look kind of familiar. Uh, a lot of people have said I bear a resemblance to Dean Martin. Oh. You turned oh. state's evidence, oh. Tobel. Oh. 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 Now I'm gonna steal your oh. pants. No, no, they won't fit you. Yeah. Oh, at least undo yeah. my suspenders first. Ah. Why don't you use a pencil to write with? A pencil? You mean this? No, no, this is a pencil. Hmm, genius. Sharp. And what's this? Paper. This is paper? Of course. Hmm. It's so thin. How does it work? You write on it. With a pencil? Why, the people who invent these things just simply amaze me. Uh, which one's me? The one with the tie. It's taken me over 30 years to complete this master plan for stealing books. Oops. Hey, boss. Hey, boss, you just spilled your specimen all over the plans there. Well, that plan's ruined. Postpone my doctor's appointment for 30 minutes, too. Mm. It'd be a lot easier to fix this Vegematic if I didn't have this champagne cork in my eye. Say, will you fix my gun? Uh, mm -hmm. Send two dollars to the name at the bottom of... Mm, I hate chain letters. Mm. That's a lousy disguise. If you'd worn that bandana on your forehead, I might have believed you were Willie Nelson. This hurts like hell. Do you have any baby oil? No. Oh. You're through. Any last requests? Ned Zeppelin. I just love Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> You fool, we've run out of gas. I told you to fill the tank at the car wash. Hmm. Hmm. There's a gas station down there. We can phone Holmes. My work is through. You can rinse and spit now, Holmes. I didn't know you were a dentist, Moriarty. I am not, but... I've been told that I look pretty damn good in a dentist's mock. We're here. Park in the garage. Stop! 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 Uh, you should have your brakes checked. Weren't you supposed to give me a shot so I wouldn't feel any pain? Oh, yes, Holmes. Thank you for reminding me. When can I chew on my left side? You can now. I worked on your right. There's the man responsible for stealing all the books. <laughs> Holmes, look at you. I suppose you're going to revoke my library card. Well, the case is solved. No thanks to Sherlock Holmes. Mm, yes, Daphne's got her job back and all the books are being returned, including the joy of sex. He didn't understand a word of it. Huh? I like the pictures. Captain, can I make the airplane noises? Sure. <sighs> well, you've blown another case. You going back to school, Holmes? Yes. Elementary, my dear. Watson? Well, that's our mad movie for tonight. Uh, I'd like to check out some books, so this is First Blood, Part 7, Rambo meets Gidget. Well, thanks for joining us. I've got some reading to catch up on. All right, yeah.